What a vlog camera. We're gonna start this bad boy up again. Yeah, yep, yep. It's gonna be really cool to see how this goes. We're um, gonna be documenting a lot of cool shit. Like, like head nodding cool shit. I promised myself as soon as I brought the camera, I'd start, I need to blow my nose. I am done. As soon as I brought the camera, I'd start vlogging because <laughs> Oh, I said I was gonna do it for ages. Never done it. Did, done. Mm. Made so many excuses with the camera I had. It was too big. I'm back. We're gonna be starting making these pretty every now and then. I don't wanna commit to weekly just yet. Check it out. I think I do some pretty cool shit. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for coming back. Ooh. Yeah, do I say like peace or like do I sign out with one of these every time I finish a vlog? I'm not sure, I'm just gonna figure it out. Now where's the, where's the off button? Oh man. Oh, so I'm a Tyler by trade, been doing that seven odd years. I've been working with my dad for that long. Awesome relationship, absolutely. We get along as well. I do videography work, I absolutely love um, being able to share a story through digital media for people and brands and promo work. What we're doing right now, oh, where's that light? You find me a lot of the time. <laughs> uh, laptop while cooking food. I got a bunch of emails to write back too. It's been really cool, I've released a video I let it to my 18 year old self and also a really cool edit I done for Glenn. Sharing self and emotional awareness and also the journey of going to the gym and being in the routine, being in the practice of bettering yourself physically, internally and externally. Does that make any sense? <laughs> All the lessons wrapped up in that super emotional clip, super, super proud of it. I've never had goosebumps that many times during a video. That was awesome to release. It also looks pretty shredded. Here's a photo. Yep, like that. Don't really like standing next to him in summer. Now we're gonna get uh, stuck into a couple of emails here and then I've gotta shoot off real quick. I've got a haircut at three, it's two o'clock. I don't have enough time for this, so yeah, let's see how we go. All right, I had a haircut at three, been told it's 2.30, it's 2.15, it's gonna take 25 minutes to get there. So, quickly, uh, salmon, get to see that. But, uh, what are they called? Uh, pancake, protein oat, protein. Protein pancakes? Roats? No, protein pancakes. Some Shibani yogurt and blueberries. We're gonna eat this while we drive. Oh, I gotta look, mental look here. Here, cool. Oh, that's probably heaps loud. Mental look here, not here. All right, cool, let's go. So this is Mel, my hairdresser. She's the one that keeps me looking like a seven out of ten. <laughs> seven and a half on good days. Can you just repeat what you just said, Mel? Um, that you're really fun to watch. You should make your own channel. <laughs> what? Watch me. <laughs> I bought this camera today to start vlogging again to do daily shit like this. Do it. Just got a haircut. Already getting digits. Put the number in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you judge the quality of a cut. How many digits you get straight after it. See you guys later. I'm gonna also grab. <laughs> Just for the vlog. I'll put some there. I'll still take some See you later. Is that a cop pull up? Is that a cop pull up? That's me. Hey, mate. Hey. So we're here at a mate's house. I'm big Kieran McDowell. Big Kiz. Hey, dog. Yeah, that's about it. That's all the nicknames I got for him. Big dog. Hey. Welcome to the vlog, man. Welcome. Here we are with the big dogs. Trying to live that crypto life. Trying to understand what's going on. Block my screen because it's millions of dollars there. I don't want anyone to see my code. But super simple to do this. But in saying that, um, I've got my password. I don't know how to get my money. So we're just figuring that out. Don't do it, this guy. Less than 101. Don't do it, Mikel. Boys! Yes? Oh, the team. What's up? Hey, What's bro. up? You know me. Never stop. Stop for ages. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, big dog. Gotcha. Guys, what is up? It's Sunday morning. So, I've got this really big window in my room. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> when you don't... Here we go. Let's see if this works. you don't close the blind at night, uh, wake you up. I really wanted to sleep today. But I'm gonna pretend that I wanted to get up early on purpose because I'm motivated to do stuff. Um, but sometimes I'm not. Oh, so I'm about to go to the gym because I feel obliged to, but this is like a debate, like an ongoing debate. Can guys get away in the gym with tight snow shorts? What do we need shorts? I've heard them referred to as um, courtesy shorts before. Yeah, I can understand why. So um, yeah, let me know. And I'm up. So, hot tip. I gotta look down here, don't I? If you're um, if you're not motivated in the morning, go to the gym. And you're not sure, you're not sure what you want to do. This is 
this is what you do. This is how you, this is how you sort this out. Before you speak coffee, you've got all the good stuff in it. Uh, MCT oil, got some fat burners, things like that as well. Depending on how tired you are, have one of these and then put a pod in it as well. Man. I think I was buzzing till about from like 9 a.m. till 2 yesterday. It was like good, it was like a, like a, <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> if you buzz, there's like a 10. I'm using the word buzz. Just put you at like a seven or eight and you kind of cruise instead of just like up, down. Check it out before you speak coffee. Not a paid plug, maybe a paid plug, not a paid plug, not there yet. I'm gonna share with you morning coffee spot. This is mine. It's on the uh, on the stairs next to a window with some beautiful bins. Coffee upstairs, my room. No, there was a room there. My room here. It's um, it's just comfy. This is this is where the coffees. Mind the nipple. Oh, this is where the coffees go down in the morning. Me and Elle have had a lot of uh, great chats on the steps here. Mm, so indoor, outdoor. I'm not outdoor at all, am I? No. Mm, yo, I feel like this could be the chat corner. This is where me and you chat. Maybe I don't know. Do I know what I'm doing? So, today is going to be my first day going into the gym with you. I've got heaps of stories around that. The majority of them being, you know, like, what are people going to think? You know, what, oh, is he a vlogger? Like, what, you don't even have a thousand subscribers, bro? But what I've come to realise is, fuck that noise. I've had so much feedback that people enjoy me on camera. And I enjoy myself on camera. And a big thing for me was watching my old vlogs. Go check them out. I'll give you a minute. Did you see him? Have you? Go on, go. I'll wait. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, the good day. Well, maybe. If you went there and came back, you'd probably think they're good. I was sitting there one night and I was watching myself, like watching my own vlogs. I know how egotistical, right? And um, I was really enjoying them. Like, I, I caught myself smiling the whole time. That's a clue. So when I'm sitting there watching myself, making myself happy like I was like Whoa, how cool is it gonna be for when my kids get to see this by the way I'm having two boys boy and a girl but the boy is gonna be two years older than the girl to protect her and shit that's how it's gonna play out that's exactly how it's gonna play out not sure when but that's how it'll play out I'm putting it out there to the universe God whoever sort it out I want a boy first he can't get pregnant he just gets scratches and bruises on him I feel like I can deal with boys better. Yeah, so I enjoy who I am when I'm holding a camera. Because we show up as different people all the time and I really enjoy who I am when I like put a camera. It's like a little bit of like a, like a morning coffee. I don't know, it's weird. I don't know, maybe it's ego. Um, maybe. Enjoy it though, so why not keep doing it? See you guys at the gym if I decide to pull you out or not. We will, we will, I don't know. We'll go, we'll go, we, we will, we will, we will, you will. Okay. Also, I forgot. Today is an exciting. I'm gonna be quiet. I was still asleep. Today's a super exciting day. I completely forgot to mention this. Um, a company that's been looking for a videographer for the last few weeks on Instagram, been throwing out some stories and that. Um, hit me up the other day. They're like, "Hey, test you out more so. Um, gonna shoot you through a few files today. See what you can do." For me, to be completely honest with you, I think I'm a bit in you know, over my head, but. Fuck it, like, if I can't do it, I can't do it. If I can, I can, it'd be awesome. It's super interesting for me, because I didn't, like, I was, like, semi, like, oh, should I hit him up, shouldn't I hit him up? You know, just go for it, man. Like, at the end of the day, you're going to make a contact, you're going to learn heaps. I haven't learned that much getting things right, but I've learned a shitload getting things wrong. I can guarantee you that. I've gone to a videography shoot before, and everything was going wrong. Like, my gimbal's wobbly, my camera wouldn't focus, and this is, like, the first time I'd done a shoot. From then, I learned so much. I was like, you can't use that lens on the gimbal. This is how the autofocus auto works on the camera. And, like, guys, this is when I was, like, just picked a camera up, and I was shooting everything in auto. So, I learned heaps from that shoot. And the next shoot, shot in manual, perfect, came out awesome. So, if that never happened, imagine down the track if I just left it on auto, and then all of a sudden I'm at this, like, paid gig of this big paid gig and like my my hardware starts going wrong. Like I, I wouldn't know what to do. So the amount of times I've up has taught me so much more than the amount of times I got stuff right. As you can see, I'm starting to perk up a bit because the coffee's finally here. So we're gonna go down to the gym and get this. All right, 
So we're taking the camera down. We're gonna go film in the gym in front of other people, no matter what they think, say, or feel about it. That's what we're gonna do, isn't it, Mikel? Isn't it? Yeah. Let's go. Get it. Feel the fear and do it anyway. But you're meant to do. Just feeling the fear. <laughs> we'll see how we go. Ah! One thing I've found, the older I get, the more time I spend. Not these guys. My warm up is longer than my actual training. For me though, camera in the gym. Not even, not even nervous about it. Just talking to myself. It's cool. <laughs> Uh, but separates the men from the boys, finding those spots. One thing I've noticed in myself when I thought about getting the camera out, I'm like, fuck, and I've mentioned this before, I'm like, what's everyone else going to be thinking? It's like, weird, isn't it? It's not, it's not weird. Um, I think we're way too concerned with what other people think of what we're doing when they're so caught up in thinking what other people think of them. might have a passing fleeting moment when they see you doing your thing. But if you stand in that and you own that shit, cool, that's what he's doing. That's what he's about. Um, yeah, like I said, people are people are too busy worrying about what others think of them. I think that's how it goes. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. I feel like sometimes when um, external circumstances uh, really affect your mood, and unless you're aware of it, sometimes you can go in like a downward spiral and ruin your day or your month. And for me, I had um, a super late last night, last night editing, swapping footage with a couple of mates. And then this morning, I had a breakfast at 8 a.m., meeting breakfast, whatever. That got cancelled at 1 a.m. I set my alarm, everything got six hours sleep. Then, the big edit I was going to do for a company today, um, that hasn't come through either, so that'll come through tomorrow. But, and I found myself feeling a bit shit that now today I've got nothing to do. Well, not nothing to do, but like, it's going to be a super productive day, heaps on the cards. Now it's just all done, it's clean slate. Let me catch my breath. <laughs> so I've just had an email come through um, for an edit only job for a retreat a couple are doing. They saw some of my work um, on Instagram, Facebook. They've got a retreat they're doing in seven weeks and they want an edit only job. So today I get to do that and hopefully have it to them by the end of the day. Um, so yeah, sometimes when space is made for the right reasons and when you create space, it's amazing what shows up for you in that situation. So yeah, mid-workout thoughts. It's gonna take a couple of hours to download the footage needed to do the edit. It's 1.45 right now. I'd absolutely love to get this all done today, but I'm not sure if that's gonna happen because when you're getting footage from someone else, you need to watch it all, you need to pick a song. Sometimes the song selection can take ages and for me, I don't start until I've got the song because I know I wanna know the exact vibe, feel of everything. Buzz, what up? <sighs> Bit of an improv ending. Um, I'm gonna get better at remem remembering to end things when I start them. Finish things when I start them. Finish the vlog when I start it. Sign off. Improv ending, be signing out for vlog number six. I've only got, oh, I've only got five fingers. Stay tuned. I know there's been heaps of talking and blabbering in the first couple ones. Let me know, you might like that. I like to share my thoughts a lot of the time. We're gonna get a few more highlight clips coming through and a bit of my work getting in here as well, a bit of my workflow. Um, we've got some cool stuff coming up for the next uh, the next episode, the next week. Trialing out at one of the leading athletic gym wear brands in Australia right now. So, be working them for a couple of days. You're gonna see a bit of behind the scenes there, a bit of an edit I've done for them as well. So, thanks for watching and like, subscribe, all that. Yeah, all right, cool, cheers. Hey.